The latest in Baltimore, where crews will now start to remove the wreckage from the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Let's go back to our transportation correspondent, Gio Benitez, on the scene for us. Good morning again, Gio. Hey, Robin, good morning again. We are now learning that first responders had less than two minutes to shut down traffic on that bridge before it collapsed, saving so many lives in the midst of this tragedy. Overnight, the NTSB gaining access to preliminary data from the Voyage Data Recorder, the agency hearing audio, which hasn't been released yet, from the ship's bridge, detailing the moments before that catastrophic collision. The lights on the ship going dark at 1.24 a.m., alarms then ringing out seconds later. Within minutes, the two pilots calling steering orders, radioing for tugboats to assist and dropping the ship's port anchor, then issuing that mayday call. The NTSB aboard the ship Wednesday, finding 764 tons of hazardous materials. Mostly corrosives, flammables, and some miscellaneous hazardous materials. Some of the hazmat containers were breached. We have seen sheen on the waterway. And after more than a day of treacherous searching, divers recovering a red pickup truck. Two victims found inside. 35-year-old Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes and 26-year-old Dorlian Cabrera. Officials saying other vehicles have been detected but have not yet been recovered. Based on sonar scans, we firmly believe that the vehicles are encased in the superstructure and concrete we tragically saw come down. At this point, this moves to a salvage recovery effort. Among the four crew members still missing, Miguel Luna, originally from El Salvador, and Minor Suazo Sandoval, a father of two, an immigrant from Honduras. Sandoval's brother, Martin, saying his brother was a fundamental pillar of the family. And we are all thinking of those families this morning. Of course, the Port of Baltimore is still closed indefinitely. The goal right now is to clear out that bridge and that ship to get the port back up and running. Michael. Yeah, you said it best, Gio. It's just heartbreaking. Thank you so much for that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.